Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, our topic was all about murder. This story was based on Medicine Hat Canada. Back in the year 2006. It is all about the Richardson family. It begins with me, killing them, and ends with me, living with you. In April 2006, the 12 years old Jasmine Richardson murdered her family. That happened when her parents, Mark and Debra, forbade her from dating Jeremy Steinke, who was already 23 years old. So Jasmine thought that murder was the only answer. Before Jasmine met Jeremy, she was just like any other ordinary teenager. The 12 years old was described as a happy and social girl. But after meeting Jeremy, who claimed to be a 300-year-old werewolf, and wore a blood-filled vial around his neck, Jasmine's behavior changed dramatically. She started wearing dark makeup and described herself online as nocturnal and insane. Though it was long believed that Jeremy had planned to kill Jasmine's parents, it was actually Jasmine who first brought the idea in an email. She also reportedly told friends about her plans to kill her parents. My lover's rents are unfair, they say that they care, they don't know what's going on, they just assume. That's what Jeremy wrote his blog on April 2006. Their throats I want to slit, finally there's silence, their blood shall be my payment. Days after posting to his blog, the couple would carry out their plan. Jasmine and her boyfriend carried out their plan, and just two hours later, the pair were seen happily eating in a restaurant. The day after the murder, a young boy visited the house for a play with Jasmine's eight-year-old brother. After spotting bloods through the window, the boy's mother called the police. When the police arrived, it was discovered that both Deborah and Mark Richardson had been stabbed to death in the basement. Upstairs in the bedroom, the eight-year-old Jacob's throat was cut open. At first, Jasmine wasn't even considered as a potential suspect. In fact, officers believed she may have been kidnapped or murdered like her family. But after seeing evidences in her room, she was identified as the main suspect. The runaway couple were tracked down, and soon enough they were arrested. In 2007, Jasmine was declared guilty of three counts of first-degree murder. At the age of 13 during her conviction, she was sentenced to 10 years in prison. That includes time in a psychiatric institution. On the other hand, Jeremy was sentenced to life in prison without parole for 25 years. When Jeremy was asked why did he murder Jasmine's parents, he said, When you find your soulmate, you will do anything for them, and that's what I did. Even while they were in prison, the pair continued to exchange love letters. After 12 years from the horrific massacre that shocked Medicine Hat Canada, Jasmine was now walking free, maintaining a very low profile. She was released on parole in 2016 at the age of 23. If she remains out of trouble, the murders will be removed from her criminal record. Now, Jasmine was living in a secret location under a new identity. Although it's been reported that she has responded well to rehabilitation, it is not known whether she is still in contact with Jeremy. So that's the story of the Richardson family, which was murdered, for love. That's all for today's video. Hope you like it, see you on our next topics.